Wengen. And stayed at a beautiful hotel and we're getting ready to start out. It's a little cloudy today. This is quite a large hotel. And we stayed right up on the very top floor in the turret in a suite. It was really nice. This place is kind of like a villa. Yes. This is Wengen, W-E-N-G-E-N -E -E pronounced Wengen. It's one of the most jet-set ski towns in all of Europe. Because it's the gateway to the entire Jungfrau region. That's our guy Jim waiting for Terry and I because we were a little late this morning. This is the main streets. Wengen Hotel and the train station which they're redoing the train run right through here and we're ready to start off on our hike the peaks behind here are very menacing they're a little backward now obviously there's our hotel up there and Terry's in the grocery the troops are definitely ready you can tell by the spring in their legs. <laughs> okay, this is the railway station. The train pulls in. If you're going on the railway. And this is how the people travel and there's tons of backpackers as you can see. Come on. But not us. We're walking. Different trains and different style trains go on different terrain. I believe that's the Jungfrau train. That's a real mountain train. We say goodbye to our very nicest hotel where we had some, some laughs. And the group is ready to go. Some of the uh, small fry coming out to say goodbye. We're on the trail with some typical Swiss houses. I know, but you don't kickstart it. The group is on the move. Wow. Why didn't I get a camera? Here's a guy. Should I come closer to you, Laura? Yeah, Swiss efficiency is the wood pile over here, which is... Is that incredible? Oh, yeah. Good shot. Is that sort of... Look what they did to the wood pile, Laura. Does your wood pile look like yeah. this? <laughs> it says, sure. Sir, Terry Gross, number one flower photographer. Yeah. Try that again. That was the call of the orangutan. Let's, let's hear that. <laughs> Looking for woodpeckers. Here comes the group. Doug and Cindy and Terry and our friend who's joined us from Britain. We don't know who he is, but he knows when he's got a good thing going. We're walking through the woods, leaving Wangen. Day three, if we complete today, we'll be halfway through. You can see the whites of their eyes now. We're up at a viewpoint now where you can see some pretty intense falls and see where we just came from. So this is where we came from. That's our hotel in the lower right. We're a couple miles uphill from there. 
And another little town just underneath here. What's the town? This is Louder Brown? Wait, wait, wait. The troops are getting refreshed. It's a fine, messy job. Right. It was up to me we'd be at Pebble Beach. We've reached the crossroads. Big Mike, leader of the pack. Huh? Now we're heading down into another valley. I'll say goodbye to you. So long. Have a nice day. I've got to go that way. Bye. Nice having you. Well, it's nice to, nice to join out with you. Cheerio. Yeah, it's a good walk. Yonder is Gimmelvault, which is our destination for tonight. However, there is a huge valley and canyon. So we've got to go down and then up? Yep. Not a bus, A coffee shop. All right, yes. Coffee shop. Heading down. It's pretty steep going down here. It's hard to tell, but it is. Troops are in good spirits. We're almost at lunch. Heading down for our lunch spot. This is very, very steep. Some of the mountain peaks are unreal. Pure rock. Gadul or dueling waterfalls. And way up to these peaks. Snow along the peaks for sure. Group's getting pretty far ahead of us, Lass. So this is our little restaurant and rest stop. I think I'll dig in. Well, up on top of this cliff once again is our destination. The Hotel Idlewise. But right now, we got a ways to go. <laughs> We're down on the farm. But look at that cable car going up and down, and one goes to the city that we're looking for. The one over there to that little town? Uh-huh. And walk? Yeah, you can take two and, and go right to uh, Muri. I might do that too. Mm -hmm. I hope he'll definitely let us know. I want to have more ambiance of the it's moss covered peaks. <laughs> Not yet. I can tell you is it's a long way down there. This is some gorge. Apparently we're gonna be able to go inside it. That's Cindy. She didn't want to go up there, but she's going. This is an incredibly steep climb. Maybe you'll take when I get up a little bit. Those could only be the feet of one intrepid explorer. Is it steep, Tar? Yeah. That is steep. The TV just is so deceiving. It's extremely steep. Just think what it would be like coming down. Well, we're almost in town, lads. We're almost in town. 
That's our objective restaurant. This is about the steepest part of the climb. This is where we're going down a hillside. And then you hold on to these cables as you go down. That's our guide. They're way down there. They're waiting on us. We're in this huge canyon now. Waterfalls everywhere. Well, time to get down. Me and Terry, we're bringing up the rear again. This is the bottom of the falls. And this is the rock ledge that we just came down. Looks pretty innocent from here. It's not. Tremelbach Falls! Tremelbach Falls! inside the mountain here. This is pretty steep here, so we're, we're getting on a cable car. Some are going to take one cable car, some are going to take... We missed that one. That's where we're going. Oh, it stopped. The cable that's being uh, lowered down is a bungee cord. Now the entire Kelly family is going to attempt to bungee jump from this cord. Glad I didn't park out there. If this uh, cable breaks, somebody's going to have a smashed car. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the parking lot. <laughs> Look how much it's down. Look how 
Looks like only Doug went. There's the bungee jumping one. We're going up the cable car. Right in the cable car. They're everywhere. This is where we're going up here, the Gimmelwald. Now here comes the other cable car up from Gimmelwald. This is the cable car Terry and I didn't take so we could walk an extra hour. This is what it looks like when you walk the extra hour. It's nice up here though. It's clouding in, the usual afternoon clouds are coming in. We came from way down around the other valley. We did some serious climbing, another eight to nine hour day. The afternoon clouds are moving in. We're all the way up in Murin now. Here comes Terry. And it's quite a view out there. Clouds are starting to come into the tops of the mountains and like close us off. This is Murin and it's big. Nice country. Today we start day four of our hike and this is the view out of our hotel window down into the valley. That's Schlithorn where we came from yesterday. That's Gimmelwald over there. This was a lovely room. And we had a good time here. The weather's cloudy and cool today. Good day for hiking. See the clouds a little bit. And we're off on another adventure. It's early morning, so it's time to pick up our groceries for the day. And this is the cute little town. Murin, uh, the only way you can get in other than by the ski lift cable car is on this funicular railroad. Very, very steep. Very slow. And there's the funiculars passing each other and heading off onto the north ridge where we're going. Murin. Our guide is uh, looking for one of our yeah. lost, lovesick members. <laughs> and we're having trouble navigating. <laughs> but there's where we came from. Is Murin. And here they come. Yeah, it's not them. Whoops. Take two. <laughs> I think... Okay, let me get a picture of the, house, the place back to there's one of the four cable cars that connect this area. That one goes up to the James Bond restaurant. Here come the troops. Just done about a 20 minute uphill. Uphill. Better than yesterday. Terry Gross. And then our guide and Melissa in the rear. Just when you thought you couldn't do anything tougher or steeper. Whoa. This is the mother of all steep climbs. We climbed up this. And there's Gibbewald over there. You can always tell we're gaining altitude because we're at, almost at eye level with these peaks.
We're up at about 5,000 feet and headed for about seven. There's Gimmelwald, where we came in yesterday, taking a well-deserved break up here. It's starting to spit rain just a little, so Terry put her camera in a waterproof. And she's ready to go. The journey continues, but it rained last night and it's gotten pretty muddy. The trail's gotten a bit muddy. Oh, you gotta stick it way out to the side. The greatest fear out here is butt surfing. And Terry's got a big gorge to negotiate, but she's decided, like in life, that's it, she's taking the high road. Yes, there's quite a few cows in this pasture. We're in what hikers call a minefield. It rained last night and it's a uh, cow pasture and all there is is mud, a little bit of grass, and a lot of cow chips. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to tell the difference between the cow pies and the mud. Yeah, that's the, the problema. And the weather seems to be closing in a bit on us. Oh, we're approaching our lunch spot. And after lunch, we'll climb a very steep pass, drop over the back to Grease Alp. Looks exciting, looks tough. Quite a bit of mud this morning. Interesting climb. Everything looks so close, but so far oh, out here. What's his name, Jim? Where? And to the right of Terry is our afternoon climb. And this is from whence we came. The scenery is just gorgeous for miles around. Up here, and then down to our objective. There's your 360. The objective has been reached. Lunch, day four. It's pretty nice out here. Nice fire burning. I don't know why it's over there. Kind of bright in the background with the clouds and snow caps. The weather has turned on us. Everyone's getting their rain gear on. And the video will have to be suspended. Everybody's getting on there. Have a cult. Action! The rain has stopped, and we're just about to complete the steepest climb of the trip so far. Or oh, maybe the whole trip. Steepest climb in my life, ever. That's incredible. Here comes Doug and Cindy. See where the hoodies for tomorrow. No bother. Yeah, that was a tough one. Me, you, Mom. No one's that great. Get Cindy and Doug. I got them. Here they come. I hate it. 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 It's like the top of the world up here, huh? How long you guys been waiting for us? A couple hours. Well, they were way ahead of me. Yeah. I got up and they've been cooling their heels for half an hour. The bad news is I think we got to hike down this. I'm putting my camera away. Laura, he would like some words of wisdom from you. What? Would like some words of wisdom from you from me? Um, like we can be next to your mother when she's just climbed up too much. It really gets cold. Yeah. 
I'm starting to shiver. Oh, I am not climbing up there to get the water. That's all there is to it. Hey, Mom. I'd throw it down to you, but if I missed, you'd have to go get it. Here's our leader. An hour ahead of the pack, the Iron Man of Ladue. Bring, bring lots of warm clothes because when you have to wait for an hour for everyone to catch up, you get uh, quite chill. And I tell you, it's plenty cold up here. We're finally uh, up in, you know, some hit some snow. Everyone's pretty happy right now. Into Grease Alp, downhill. It says two hours and a half. But I don't know about that. Now that's the top of the Schlithorn. That's the James Bond restaurant, the 360 panorama on the other peak. And we're way back here. This is our destination for tomorrow night. That's the Blumenthal Hut or something. And Jim and Melissa, and it is not the kind of place you want to make a mistake. This is a serious descent, and now the fog's blowing in. It's cold. I don't know if I can shoot uphill because I'm like. Hardly able to stand here, and if I slide, I'm history. Take your own step. That's it's Melissa. Now, slowly this time, because there's a little bit of slidey below us. And then to a turn here. Now, careful. You've got to get on our legs. That's good. You're just going to tell me. Hear the rock slide? You should take your time. That's a good one. Then you just go down there. Okay. Forward or backward? Or any way you want. Okay. Let me go first, okay? Please don't move anymore. What do you think? No one. Jimmy would be mad now. My mom and dad would not believe in doing this. It is unreal. Okay, I'm doing it. We're coming down through the fog, down incredibly steep. Hey, how am I doing? Good. Take your time. Hey, yeah? Wait a sec. There's some of our people way down in the fog. You've got to go down this. This is steep and very slidey. It's a shale that's loose. Message for Joe, take one. The descent continues, and it is tough, and it is raining, and I hope it's not getting on the lens, but hey, these pictures are worth it. Still have quite a ways to go, but we'll get there. Take our time, it's raining though. That's where we came down from. So everybody is now. Looking a lot happier. We're over the hard part. The weather's pretty incredible in here. One minute it's foggy and you can't see in front of you. The next minute it's clear with a little tiny bit of drizzle. And here they come. I believe we've got to get through this notch and down into that valley to get to our hotel. We're still a couple hours away. And it's late in the afternoon. We've uh, been on the trail about Seven hours at least, probably going to be a nine hour day. Still descending to Grisalp, trying to find this little hut where uh, we've been tempted with hot chocolate and tea and other such warm drinks as it uh, was a little cold. Scenery is, as usual, pretty intense. We came from <laughs> way beyond that top wall there. That goes down and up. And now we're walking on this loose shale, which is very tricky. There goes the group. Hope they saved me something to drink. Still descending to Grease Alp. Very interesting wildflowers. And very interesting weather.
And he's waving. I feel like you're on top of the world up here. Just incredible. Just incredible. The descent is quite nice to Grisalp, although long. That's where we came from. Scenery is just magnificent. Waterfalls everywhere. And of course our buddies, the cows. Well, we made it to Greasel, but not without a lot of trouble. We got caught in a torrential downpour. And uh, some of us, most of us, uh, got taken in by Jeep, and it was scary out there. Well, anyway, after the great rainstorm, this is where we ended up. Now it's day five, and we're off to the hut. What's the name of the hut? Uh, Blumisalp. Blumisalp hut. The troops are all ready. Peaks above the town. We're going to get our honey buns. This is where we go to get our honey buns. Yeah, it's, it's not a. No, you can drive in. There's a there's a ten franc toll to get in here. We're on our way up, and if you look at this sign, the only the longest one to get to are the two destinations we're going to: Blumen's Hut and Kandersteg. So we have a total of seven hours and 30 minutes minimum left to the end of our hiking. It's a beautiful day. Morning is dawning beautiful. They expect storms later, so we want to get going. Here come the troops. There's Terry. It's a little bright up there, but that's where we're going, up on that mountain. Now that's a zoom. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. Here come the troops. We're climbing to the hut. Show us your pack. Full packs, you gotta keep in mind we have everything with us for three days and we're on the second day and it poured unbelievable yesterday. The far peak is our destination. The hut. A spire standing out by itself. There's Doug. Here's a cute little stopping off point along the way up. And we've got some up to do. Going up to that white snow field. There's Jim. And where's the group? There's that group. There's Terry with her heavy pack. Somewhere about to pop over the hill is Miss Terry. And she's probably looking at all the views. Now that's the direction the weather comes from and the wind's coming from. See the clouds building and there's finally a nice cool breeze. This is our scenery on the way up to the high country that we're going to. And we're heading for lunch on the trail, picnic time. By God, I think she's made it. Whee! Here she comes. A goat attack, suddenly. They're attacking our lunch. They're everywhere. And where they are, goat droppings are. They really, they came up all of a sudden and just attacked the Kelly's picnic. Everyone's grabbing their packs. <laughs> These are not the kind of folks you like to invite to a picnic. Not the Kellys, the goats. Bad. We're definitely in big with the goat herd. 
They will not stop following us. Heading up into the high country. This is where this is where we descended from yesterday on the cables and ladders. And down into that gorge and valley on the other side. Are you ready to go? Pretty tired, but yeah. Boy, I see somebody wet. We're making progress. It's extremely steep with cliffs all around. This is not only the steepest climb, it's definitely the most dangerous. Anything to say? No. Nothing to say. I don't blame you. One mistake around here could be your last. Okay. There's a guy way up there. He's not in our group, but that's where we're heading. Now we gotta cross some snow up to some pretty good sized boulders. And then up higher. This is the first rocks we've seen like this. This must be reserved for way up high, as we are way up high. This is what we're just coming up. Not much room for error. Some steep stuff. We gotta get up to the top of that. This is how our final ascent looks. Stairs and ropes. It's so bright up there you can't see. Stairs and ropes, and I'm the last one. If you were to look back, which I don't recommend, there's where we came from. There's someone over there trying to make it up here. No more video for now. Gotta concentrate on getting up. There's Destination Alpha, the hut. Still a little bit more work to do. See you at the top. Guess who that is up at the top? My wife, Terry, at the hut. I still have a ways to go. <laughs> Pretty steep last part. It's one of the native people here leaving holds on. It's awesome. Every afternoon, the weather closes in on you. The clouds come in and the rain, you can see it moving. It's moving really fast. This was clear five minutes ago. Just moving right in. You can expect rain shortly. You can see up on the top, it's clear still. Oh, well, there's our hut. A little more descent. We're up here, and the weather is changing. That's where we came from. I'm a little unsteady, I'm so darn tired. The view up here is incredible on these glaciers, and it is cold. It is extremely cold. This afternoon there were people coming down here. I missed them, but uh, it's quite a steep uh, descent, obviously. Final day on the trail. We're heading for 10,000 feet. We found a new friend. Well, believe it or not, we're going out for extracurricular work. Doug and Jim and Terry and I. Doug, uh, you want to take us up to 10,000 so we can see another view of the Eiger. There goes the intrepid Terry. The other boys are already ahead. There's the hut. We're going up a little bit more before we go down. And we're way up in the glaciers. Go ahead. It's 
Doug and Jim. This is really the first time we've climbed this uh, granite. It's it's more hard shale, I guess. Guided to it. Guided to it. Somebody watching us with a sinny. Do you know that dude? Yeah. Um, it's in there. Yeah. We're up. You see the four. You gotta get the four people. How good? Okay, tell me for how good you zoom me. Pretty good. Well, there's four there in the saddle there having a meeting. This is extra credit or extra curricular. I got the two in the middle. Uh, well, if you go down, there's two on the northwest ridge. If you swing right way around, past the summit down the right, halfway down the snow ridge on the right. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, going We've down also down reached the, the snow right. line. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it must be good snow conditions, uh, you know. We've yeah, reached yeah, the snow good. line. We're almost at 10,000 feet. There's a big black thing Later today, we'll finish our trip down there in the valley at Kandestai. We got a long way to go. <laughs> so we're at the snow line and we're walking along the glacier at almost 10,000 feet. What a day. Oh, you see these all over the mountains in Europe. Stein, Meinlich, little men. They go around in Scotland kicking them over now because there's just too many. Every time that the Mary goes at the... I will, on a sec. It's nice to be back. I haven't been here since the last time. Oh, there's some big peaks. Keep open. There's people up on that it's ridge there. That ridge of that mountain class, along the jagged the part of it. Thing. Climbing up along the ridge. And here we are. Yeah, they do. The guy I was with the other week, uh, he's plastic boots all the time, but he's got a bit of a gummy ankle up the right side because the strap came down in the wind. There's our hut from last night, and we're about a thousand feet above it now. Gotta pick up the rest of our group and head down. We're making the descent to our final destination, Kandersteig. Got a couple of rest stops and we'll get to our hotel early afternoon. Probably do some souvenir shopping. But we got a ways to go. And it's a beautiful morning in the Alps. Probably the nicest, crispest, clearest day we've had. It is definitely a day for scenery. Just beautiful. We're coming along down along this side. There's another group hiking up way down on the ridge. That's where we're headed. We still got a ways to go. It's kind of it's kind of backlit, but this is what we just came down, and it's very steep. I'm glad we came down, not up. Well, that's where we've descended to into our first valley, and it's also a valley of glossies or glaciers. It's not snow, that's ice, that's glaciers, and of course, like all other glaciers in the world, they're eroding. Beautiful glaciers. And you can hear them draining. This is the trail we're going down, and of course, I'm a little behind. More shots of the glacier. Terry passing, a local hiker. There's our group, Kelly's. So Melissa has left for her tryst. That's definitely Trist, not Trieste. Terry's very fond of this glacier, so I'm getting another shot of it. Yeah, incredible ice formations. Down the road. Sorry, it's the last day? Yeah, it's been fun, but I've missed the kids a lot. I'm anxious to get home, but it's been a great trip. 
talk about me. And Jay's been a great husband and a great sport. It's the best seat in the house. <laughs> it's Saturday and it's a very busy day on the trail. The scenery is just unreal. It's our destination down there around the corner. And that's where we came from. We're coming down into the farm town for our first break. You can hear the cars. Going to one of these little huts for a snack. A lot of people out, it is just a gorgeous day. Like We're sitting at one of your typical restaurants. I mean, I didn't really, didn't really need a run-up, quite honestly, but they, they insisted, so I said, I rang back and I said, well, I'm looking for somebody, but my daughter's going to, and she says, oh, she's terribly right to see you, I'm sending Jim, you know, she's, I said, she's not at university yet, but she's gone. Well, Jim's uh, last words to me after that last snack was, uh, be careful of the cliffs below. Apparently, we're going to be climbing down these on some wires. So I said to Jim, don't worry, I'm always careful on cliffs. For the first time we've seen a beautiful lake. I don't know if you can see over in the corner of the lake, there's a restaurant and that's our next destination for lunch. We just can't get over the scenery. Around the lake down here and then the lake, which we're descending down toward. And now I'm losing my spot at the front and back at the end of the pack as usual. We are descending. This is just unbelievable. This is a classic day. We are progressing. Everyone's using the cable. Descent. Who's next? I see a big shadow. Hey, Ter. Hi. Please hang on. If not for me, for Joe and Ev. This is quite a descent. This is how they get supplies. They have a cable, not like a cable car for skiing, just a supply cable. What a day. This is the nicest day yet, and unfortunately it's the last. That's where we just had the snack. That's where we just came down. Awesome. Getting closer to the lake. It's much warmer down here. <sighs> We're getting closer to the lake. You don't realize how big that lake is until you get right down on top of it. And we still got some walking to do to our lunch spot up there in the middle right hand side. And with the lake on one side, these mountains ring the other side. Unbelievable. I'm so tired, I'm shaking. My camera work's gone way downhill. Well, this can't stop taking pictures. It's just so beautiful.
we're up pretty high still. See the shoreline down there. The cliffs above this lake are very interesting. Well, we're finally down at the lake beach. And there's a lot of everything going on. You have people fishing. Sunning. Families picnicking and barbecuing. And in Switzerland, even the cows come to the beach. A couple are sunning themselves. This guy's getting up the courage to go in, but I'll tell you, that water is very cold. Well, this is our final lunch stop and probably our nicest. Not only with view, but with food and company. It's Saturday and it's a very busy day at the lake. This is the high country above the lake, a little backlit. And this is the troops. Any chance we could get the face? <laughs> oh, that face, like, I'm not going. The face Don't that, you know, like, we want to take a lift instead of hike? <laughs> <laughs> That's not good enough, Jim. Nah. It's mean. It's mean face. Come on. We're embarrassing him. <laughs> this is just a charming place to end the trip. Maybe we'll stay here sometime. It is beautiful. We're heading into Kandesteg, our final destination. Everyone's feeling good, looking good. There's Kandesteg, our final destination on the six day trip. Here we go. Well, we're in Kandesteg, that's the general area we came from up there. Scenery is beautiful today. And what do you know, our final destination, the Hotel Bernhoff. It's been a great trip. Here goes Terry, she's been unbelievable. This is the view from our lovely final hotel room. Very bright in the distance. We're in this lovely town of Kandersteig. People go up and down the main street. Very simple lifestyle. Very, very nice. They climb. They have dogs. A little church in the background. It's just perfect. That's the other peak we see from here. We'll be sorry to leave Switzerland and sorry our hike is over. This is a small ski town. There's where the lift runs. Not part of the major ski areas, but very quaint. Not a bad hotel room. We've stayed in some nice hotels. Okay. Well, here we are in Zurich. All right, hiking trip is over, and maybe in the background you can hear a little rock concert we stopped by at. I thought it was only fair to make an appearance here at the end. 
and to tell you what a great time we had on the trip and the company was great, the scenery was unbelievable. Will we be back next year? Better stay tuned.